Valeu, У нас одна протекает сверху, где. Да. У нас одна протекает сверху, где. Ukrainian air defense downs 86% of Russia's 2,200 attack drones launched this year. Russia has launched 2,277 attack drones on Ukraine since the beginning of 2024, with Ukrainian air defense destroying 86% of them, reported Air Force Commander Mykhailo Oleschuk on Telegram. Since January 2024, Ukrainian servicemen have destroyed 1,953 Shaheds, achieved by boosting the combat capabilities of mobile fire groups in the armed forces, according to a military commander. Thousands of servicemen go to firing positions almost every night and shoot down enemy UAVs with all they have, the commander noted. He added that the creation of mobile fire groups was a necessary measure by the Air Force since the beginning of the Russian invasion. These groups have since been better equipped, positively impacting their effectiveness. Unfortunately, Ukraine cannot massively shoot down reconnaissance UAVs. Their number is too large and our air defense capabilities are limited. There is also electronic warfare, but it can only disrupt the UAV's mission. Encountering interference, it turns around and flies back. Why is it so difficult to shoot down a Russian UAV? Invisibility. Many models, especially small reconnaissance drones, are challenging to see or hear during operation. No thermal trail. UAVs that run on batteries leave no thermal trail, making them hard to detect with infrared systems. Limited air defense capabilities. Not all air defense systems can reach the flight altitude of some reconnaissance UAVs. Missile shortage. Ukraine constantly experiences a shortage of air defense missiles. Electronic warfare does not affect all aircraft. Those flying in complete radio silence, emitting nothing and taking photos along a predetermined course, are insensitive to electronic warfare. According to an electronic warfare specialist, the biggest threats to Ukraine are Russian Orlan Zala Supercam and Merlin. Zala and Supercam can be used both as scouts and as fire adjusters providing live streams from the battlefield. Zala is also used to guide the kamikaze drone or rather the loitering munition Lancet. Russian army attacks Ukrainian positions more often with motorcycles due to lack of heavy equipment. After losing nearly 15,000 combat vehicles in the first two years of its wider war on Ukraine, Russia got desperate. Production of new vehicles, combined with the restoration of old vehicles from long-term storage, couldn't keep pace with the monthly loss of more than 600 tanks, infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers. That's why, in the early months of the third year of the wider war, more Russian troops have been riding into battle on motorcycles. The Ministry of Defense of Russia also admits this. The Battle Group East has started to use cross-country motorcycles to capture Ukrainian strong points, the Russian Defense Ministry said. Assault units from the Battle Group effectively use off-road bikes to seize Ukrainian positions near Ugldar, according to the Ministry. The motorcycle is already almost standard equipment there. Such a small and extremely maneuverable target, unlike heavy equipment, is very hard to hit. The fighters roll into Ukrainian trenches at speed and immediately engage in combat, while our drones operators guide them from the air, the ministry said. Assault groups have also taken to rehearsing future attacks at precise copies of Ukrainian strongpoints, which are built in Russian rear areas. According to assault stormtroopers, when going into the trenches, 
trenches now, they know exactly where the enemy is with its machine guns and foxholes, the ministry said. The assault platoon commander said troops collaborate with drones to plot their route with kamikaze drones and artillery and mortar units. The Ukraine war has evolved into a conflict in which any movement is determined by the massive presence of frontline explosive and surveillance drones. More and more vehicles are coming into action to the detriment of the slower, more identifiable armoured infantry carriers. The problem for Russian troops in 2024 is that running low on purpose-built armoured vehicles as well as larger civilian-style vehicles, they're riding their unprotected bikes directly at Ukrainian positions. Despite the losses, at least one Russian unit still vouches for motorcycles as assault vehicles.